Hi, welcome to the homework video for worksheet 8-1. This is problems numbers 2 through 6. The directions for this section say evaluate each limit by first determining the dominant term. As we look at number 2, it says the limit as x approaches negative infinity of this function x to the sixth minus 12x to the fifth plus 7x to the third minus 400. So our dominant term here is going to be x to the sixth. And since x to the sixth has a positive coefficient, we know the shape of this graph is going to look something like this, right? Our end behaviors are going to be the same. And since it's a positive term, it's going to have a positive orientation. So this is what our function looks like. And we're trying to determine right now, you know, if x is approaching negative infinity, where are we going to be? Well, our graph is pointing up to the left. That means we are going to be at positive infinity as our x approaches negative infinity. Let's look at number three, the limit as x approaches negative infinity again of 5,000 times x squared minus 3 times x to the third power. As we're trying to identify our dominant term, it would be the minus 3x to the third. And since our function is now an odd function, remember its end behaviors are opposites, and our orientation is going to be negative because we have that negative coefficient. So this one is going to look something like this, right? It's going down to the right. So again, as we're approaching negative infinity, as our x is approaching to the left, our y values are approaching positive infinity. So our limit there is also positive infinity. Number four, the limit as x approaches positive infinity of negative 3x to the seventh plus 1,000x plus 48,000. So here is our dominant term. And when we think about the shape of this one, right, again, it's an odd function and it's got a negative coefficient. So it'll be just like the last one where it's going down to the right. And the difference with this one is we're looking at the right side here. So we've got the right arrow to think about and this one's going to be approaching negative infinity. Number five says the limit as x approaches positive infinity again, negative 3x to the seventh plus 3 to the power of x plus 15. Well, remember in the lesson we talked about exponential terms always dominate over our power terms. So in this case, we're looking at a positive 3 to the power of x when it comes to um, our dominant term. So that means in this case, right, we're thinking about what would 3 to the power of x equal? If we thought about your axes, right? We're thinking about an exponential function goes up like this. So if our x values are approaching positive infinity, so are our y values. So we're going to have positive infinity. And then last but not least, number 6 says the limit as x approaches infinity of 50 times the log of x minus x squared. And again, remember, it's important to find that dominant term. In this case, it's a negative x squared. And when we think about that, that's going to be like almost like a parabola that's spinning down. So we have that same end behavior, but they're going down. And as x is approaching positive infinity, our y values are going to be going down. So they're going to be approaching negative infinity. So that would be our limit for number six. If you have questions about any of these ones, please make sure you reach out. These are numbers two through six from worksheet eight dash one.